In winter, any bird that lives near water belongs to a feathered polar bear club. Juncos take a dip in December as often as they do in June. Ooh. If the water ain't iced over, it's warm enough to bathe in. And they'll fight for the privilege. For birds, like this junco drying off against the backdrop of snow, baths are that important. Birds bathe in every season of the year because if they didn't, they'd be about as agile in the air as a homemade kite. Scientists confirmed this notion that baths keep birds agile by testing the flight of two groups of starlings. One set just bathed, the other set not recently bathed. Both groups were sent through an obstacle course of vertical strings. The dirty bird, so to speak, hit the strings more often. And it wasn't a huge difference. They, they weren't flying like drunk drivers. But the least little loss of agility can be a life and death difference when there's a cooper's hawk on your tail. A follow-up study indicated that birds are probably aware of the effect a bath has on their flight. When the two sets of starlings were offered food and heard a tape of the cooper's hawk screeching, the freshly bathed birds ate longer before fleeing. The ones that hadn't bathed for several hours abandoned the food immediately, perhaps because they knew their ability to evade a hawk was compromised. For a bird, a bath is the difference between running in flip-flops or adidas. In warm weather, baths rid birds of parasites. But in freezing weather, the reason for them has to be the dramatic improvement in their flight. Scientists aren't completely sure, though, how baths accomplish that. Maybe water distributes the oil in the bird's plumage evenly, or gets rid of the excess. Another possibility is that the tiny barbs on a bird's feathers, which fit together like the tines in a zipper, pull loose in spots. If the zipper on your jeans gapped open in one spot, first thing you'd try is unzipping it and zipping back up, right? Maybe a bath, followed by shaking the water off and preening, is the equivalent of zipping back up. Some birds prefer privacy at bath time. But flocking birds flock. They bathe in bunches, bumping and bickering. Kindergartners in a kiddie pool. Oh look, half a bird taking a bath. But when he goes for a dip, you can see that this wren has a tail. Birds play out every which away at bath time. They bathe by rolling their bodies and heads around while they flip water upward with their wings. Or their tails. These sleek goldfinches fluff out their feathers to allow moisture to penetrate every bit of plumage so that they end up looking less sleek than dandelionish. A final vigorous shiver shakes off the surface water. He makes those wings whir like the blades on a mixer. If you bathe with that much gusto, the ceiling would be sopping wet and dripping. <laughs>